Shalom. And to the Lord's elect. I'm your brother Jeremiah. Before I start off, all praise, all honor, all glory belongs to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kodash. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, in whom the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai being the name of his beloved Son, our Lord and our Savior, in whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus. The Rakakodash being the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Lord will this be edifying. So as you can see here on the screen, you know, this, this abomination, all right, here on the screen, you know, this is a, a, a vexation of spirit, you know. And this right here is pretty much an in transit. I'm going to try to get as much precepts. As I can, I tried to pull them up before I hit the road, okay? But this is a, in transit, and as you can see here on the screen, this is an a, a abomination, okay? Or, or a vexation of spirit. And we and we are, are vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, just like as it is written uh, about our forefather Lot, you know, during his during his generation. He was vexed with the with the filthy conversation of the wicked, okay? And he was delivered by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. And the Lord's elect here in this time, they are vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Okay. So pretty much I'm just gonna scroll through, you know, a compilation uh, of two-thirds wicked niggas. Alright. And I'm gonna show a couple of judgments that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai issued forth throughout the earth, okay? So as you can see here, start with, with numero uno, this wicked, uh, look like a northern kingdom, this wicked Jake, okay, wearing a dress, right? And we know what the scriptures say pertaining unto it, okay? And we can get it. Let's go in the law. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. It says, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, okay? So I was talking to you, you women out there, all right? Starting with the Israelite woman, okay? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, all right? And as you can see here, this nigga, this wicked uh, nigga from the two-thirds got on a whole dress, okay? And posing and everything, okay? It says, to read on, for all that do so are abomination unto Yahweh Pashim Yahweh Shai, thy power, all right? So they, this this wicked nigga is an abomination unto Yahweh Pashim Yahweh Shai and all that, that walk in this type of energy throughout the earth. They are an abomination, okay? And the Lord is getting ready to judge and destroy, okay? Let's go on. As you can see here, you know, you got Eve, all right? Short for the wicked uh, two-third woman, okay, of our nation. And as you can see, they're putting on the uh, their, their makeup, and that's a, that's as a uh, uh, that's witchcraft, okay? You know, that's the that's the uh, deception, because as you can clearly see, these <laughs> these are some ugly ass women, okay? But that makeup is, is deceitful, all right? It's witchcraft. And and, and and they can they can capture a uh, hope to capture a, a man by putting on you know that that uh, that makeup okay so that that's <laughs> that's vain all right that's vexation of spirit as well let's continue on oh man look at this all right we have some of the most beautiful women we have the most beautiful women on the planet, all right? But yet, they do not want to walk in their beauty, okay? In which Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai blessed them with, okay? Look at all the classroom full of Eves wearing blonde hair, okay? They, 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 they pretty much seeking to look like their oppressors, which is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Well, in this case, they're trying to look like the so-called white woman, all right. Now let's go into the law again. All right. Let's see what the law 
of Yahabah Shmiyah Shah I got to say about that okay uh, I believe I got it pulled up here Leviticus 13 and 29 and this is for man and woman all right you got Jake dying the hair uh, 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 talking talking about the men they're dying their their hair and their beards blonde all right just completely bugged out all right Leviticus 13 29 if a man or woman have a plague upon the head or the beard so when you got this plague which as we're about to go into having blonde hair that's a plague back in the ancient days if these, if these classroom full of ease you know were to show up on the scene during the ancient days the priests would have thought they, they they've been plagued all right verse 30 it says then the priest shall see the plague okay it's not that's not cute at all all right like I say I'm gonna say it again we have the most beautiful women on the planet but they do not want to walk in their natural beauty okay then the priest shall see the plague and behold if it be in the in sight deeper than the skin and there be in it a yellow thin hair you know here you have it our women don't even have the plague but they seek to to dye their hair in that manner okay it's abominable it, it, it's vain it's vexation of spirit because it's against the law all right it says then the priests shall pronounce him unclean it is a dry scowl even a even a leprosy upon the head or beard so it's known as being uh, uh having leprosy upon your head okay the hairs of your head and, and, your, and your face you know if you got that yellow thin hair which is blonde hair but yet you have our people continually dyeing their hair in this manner okay which you know they're nothing but two-thirds wicked two-thirds eves and jakes at the end of the day anyway okay they're rebellious and they and they know not the law of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Just bear with me real quick. I pretty much arrived to my destination. But I, I had to pretty much uh, dig into the laws of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai concerning, you know, these two thirds out here. Okay. So just bear with me one moment. All right. And we're going to finish this out. <coughs> All right, so now let's go in. So now let's go to the next one. Look at this, you know. Down, you know, they're pushing this this wicked agenda upon our children, and here you have, uh, you know, was illustrated as Superman transforming into Wonder Woman as an abomination. All right. Let's read it over about the law. The man shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto Yahweh Shem Shai, thy power. And here you have Superman cross-dressing, all right, in this illustration. Abomination, okay? Look at this wicked, uh, wicked nigga, uh, Childish Gambino, all right? Who made that song, uh, uh, This is America, all right? This wicked nigga gonna be destroyed with Babylon, okay? Look at that. Complete wickedness, okay? Probably a, 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 a mo, okay? Let's read about the mo's. Leviticus 20, 13. We in the law still. It says, If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. All right. So the Lord going to put these niggas to death. 
Okay? Because this is an abomination. This is vexation of spirit. In, in Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, the Lord put uh, that, that, that mark, all right, upon the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And this is an abomination right here. All this is an abomination. Let's continue on. You, this, this is going into some of the judgments. It says, Egypt church fire, the number of victims of church fire in the Gaza region in Egypt has risen to 41 and 39 injured. 41 people dead and 39 injured. The Lord did that. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai did that. Okay? None else. Let's, let's get that. Uh, um, in the, uh, the book of Deuteronomy. 32 and, and and 39 see now that I even I am he and there is no power with me I kill and I make alive I kill and I make alive I wound and I heal neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand okay so there you have it the Lord did this the Lord dropped 41 people and injured 39, okay? Let's continue on. It says, Pennsylvania teen dies after getting pulled into wood chipper when his clothing, uh, clothing got caught while working his summer job. That man ain't even get to see the end of summer, all right? That's judgments of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. We just read that he kill and he maketh alive. He wound and he heal. There's no power other than him. Okay. Book of Hebrews 10 and 32. 31. Salakia. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Man, when that when that judgment come and that covering of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua is not upon you. We just read there was none that can deliver out of his hands. And judgment need to come forth for these wicked niggas like this, all right? And them other niggas I just showed, all right? So lock it. I'm fired up. It says another bug out Jake and, and Shalom to all the, the brothers who made these posts, you know. Just rewind, rewind the video back and subscribe to them brothers, all right? Another bug out Jake out here. It reads, his, this is, I guess it's on his Facebook or something. It says, I am Yahawash, Yahawashai, known to the world as Jesus the Christ, king and leader of the Israelites. I am the comforter. There is no power besides me. I create good. I create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. This wicked nigga is bugged the fuck out, all right? And the Lord is going to judge this nigga, okay? And all... All uh, wicked two thirds walking in this energy, claiming to be the Most High, and the Lord told us this. The Lord told us in in the last days. Let me see, the book of uh, Matthew twenty four and six uh, and five. It says, "For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many." I I'm pretty sure it's wicked, bugged out two thirds following this nigga. All right. Let's go on, man, because it's so much. It says the world is about to soon find out the Bible isn't a storybook. This is not a game. This is the scriptures in Ecclesiastes, the fifth chapter and, and the seventh verse. It says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Let's get it. This is not a game. I got. No, that's Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes to cuss. Okay. Five and seven. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. OK, you think that you think that uh, you think that uh, teen thought he was going to get caught up by that wood chipper and ate up? No. 
Look at this wicked nigga, ASAP Rocky, wearing a dress. I ain't gonna waste my time on that. Look at Jake, got a QR code put on his cheek. You know that nigga gonna take the <laughs> Garakma. <laughs> Salaki, you gotta laugh at some of this because this is comical, okay? These wicked niggas is bugged out. Look at this. You got the G-A-Y-B-C's, you know? I ain't gonna say it because Esau pump, all right? <laughs> Taking down, you know, say less, you know? I'll say less. But as you can see, this is vexation of spirit. This is what we sigh and cry about for all the abominations that be done in the midst of that coming for our children, man. We got to get up out of here. Michael 2 and 10, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. For it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction, okay? No, Salakia, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, for it is polluted, and it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. This place got to go. This place got to go. Look at this wicked nigga, uh, Playboy Cardi. Like a, a demon in the flesh. And you know that nigga plagued with spirits, you know? Look at him. Look at him. Even when the Lord was on the scene, he said that uh, there are many anti anti Hamashiachs, you know, antichrists. These niggas is uh, completely against the will of Yahweh Shem Yahushai wholeheartedly. Look at this. Look like a uh, mm, look like a mo. All right, I'm gonna say that. I wanted to say the f word, but I don't want to get flagged. All right, both of them niggas. Look at this wicked nigga Drake. What would he say? Look here, he is. He out. He got an influence, and this is what this nigga say. It says, anytime you are afraid to try something new, to try some new, new ish, just remember. Amateurs built the Ark. Professionals built the Titanic. So he give credit and, and, and respect to the to the, uh, the I'm pretty sure it was Edomites. Could have been Jakes that built the Titanic. But to the Edomites, I must just say Edomites, that built the Titanic. But he want to uh, discredit and disrespect and call Noah amateur and building the Ark. And that's a man of the Lord, you know. But it's okay. All these wicked niggas going to get it when Yahabah Shemi Shah brings that judgment. And I'm going to leave it on this. The world is about to soon find out the Bible isn't just a storybook. Okay? Judgment is coming. Okay? And it must come. It must come. Alright? Let me get Ezekiel the ninth chapter real quick before I end it off, man. I just had to make this video. Fired up, okay. So <sighs> lucky. Let me highlight these. Ezekiel nine and four, and the Yahweh by Shemiah Shai said unto him, "This is this is being spoken unto the angels." All right. Um, let me just get the context. Let me read it from the top. It says, "He cried also in mine ears with a loud voice, saying, Cause them." That have charge over the city. Salaki. Salaki. It says. He cried also in mine ears. With a loud voice saying. Cause them that have charge over the city. To draw near. Even every man. With his destroying weapons. Weapon in his hand. So this is Yahabah Shemiah Shai. Talking to the angels. Let's read on. And behold, six men came from the way of the higher gate, which lieth toward the north, and every man a slaughter weapon in his hand, and one man among them was clothed with linen, with a rider's inkhorn by his side, and they went in and stood beside the brazen altar. So you had the angels, you had the six angels with the slaughtering weapons. Ready to judge when Yahabah Shimiao Shai gives the word, and you had the, the angel with the writer's inkhorn ready to mark the elect men, right? To, to be saved. Okay. It says verse 3. And the glory of the of the uh Salakia, and the glory of the power of Israel was gone up from the cherub whereupon he was, 
to the threshold of the house and he called to the men clothed with linen which had the writer the man clothed with linen with which had the writer's inkhorn by his side and the Yahweh Shimiah Shai said unto him go through the midst of the city through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And that's the elect. The elect is going to be sealed. All right. I pray we are part of it. But let me get that edification on that that uh, that that word mark in it, in the book of Ezekiel real quick. Ezekiel nine and four. Because I, I, I believe the Hebrew word Hebrew word is the wah. All right. So lucky for that dog, man. So lucky for that dog tripping. Dog got them spirits. <laughs> dog got them spirits on him. You want to start barking when I'm making this lesson, all right? It's all good, though. <clears throat> trying to get it. It's blue letter tripping right now. It's acting up. Yeah, it won't let me click it. But do the research yourself, man. All right. But it means to be mar uh, exemption from judgment to get that mark from the writers from the angel with the writer's ink horn. Verse five. And to the others, he said in mine hearing, talking about the six angels with the slaughtering weapons in their hands. Go ye after him through the midst of the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare. Neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any uh, any man upon whom is the mark, all right? That that mark of exemption or exemption from judgment, the wall, all right? I believe that's how I'm pronouncing it. Uh, that's how you pronounce it. Salaki, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I think it's tawab, if I'm not mistaken. But the wall, all right? It says, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. So the Lord ain't sparing little children. Maids, talking about young women or women. He's not sparing none. All right. So judgment is coming, man, and it need to come. OK, but Lord Willis is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. The, the world is about to find out the world is about uh, the world is about to soon find out the Bible isn't just a storybook. Judgment is coming. All right. Lord Wilders is edifying to the elect of the nation of Yasha Allah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS. Shalom.